Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Short from Blitz Industries, bringing you WASP Pro plugins. And today I'm super excited because we're releasing one of our latest, newest plugins. But before I introduce it, I actually want to talk about the problem that we solved. And the problem is, is that we want to offer our clients the ability to customize their templates with cust with um, custom images or, or multiple images. And there's really only two ways for them to do it now that I know of. And that is we give them access to upload their own images, which let's be honest, most of them are probably going to go on Google and download images that will violate a lot of copyright laws, or we can provide the images for them by and add a lot of value to our offer. But the thing is, in order to do that, we would have to install the plethora of images that we've collected onto each subsite. And as I'm sure you can imagine and know already, that would create um, a lot of havoc on our servers or at least eat up a lot of the resources. And so we have solved this problem by creating Blitzstock Library Pro. And so now finally you can give customers access to a repository of stock images and icons all managed by you from a centralized location. So without further ado, let me show you how this will work. So as you'll see, I've already opened up a bunch of tabs so that we can speedy along through, speed along through this um, presentation or demo uh, and not have to wait for my network to, to load everything. So uh, the first thing you'll obviously wanna do is install it and activate it on your network. And so you'll see it here, it's called Blitz Stock Library Pro. And once you have it network activated, you'll wanna go to your settings and under settings, you go to Stock Library Pro activation. Once you click on that, it'll take you to this page like this, where it's gonna ask you to enter your license key that you will email to you. Once you've entered it and activated it, you'll see a green check mark letting you know that that's um, been done correctly. Then once you've done that, the the first thing you'll want to do next is go to your main site. So in our case, it's called Pro Site. So as if I clicked on here, it takes me to my dashboard. And here we, we the first thing we'll want to do now is go to your media folder on your media and your navigation. And you'll see that we've added two new subcategories. We have categories and stock library. So before we get into those two new subcategories, um, what you want to do is add new, all your images right here by clicking add new just like you normally would. So let's assume that we clicked on that and it brings you to a page like this. You're gonna drag and drop your files like, like usual and you'll see that I've already uploaded a few images here. After you've uploaded images, now you're gonna to wanna to go to your categories. So then we'll click on categories and come here. You'll see that I've already created a main category and a few subcategories. But for sake of this demo, I'm gonna create another main category and a subcategory. So in this case, we're gonna create auto detail. I'm gonna add a new category and you'll see why I've created multiple tabs because it does take a little bit of time. So as we wait, uh, here it is. So now we have auto detail. The next thing we'll do is add a subcategory to auto detail, backgrounds, and we select auto detail as the parent category. And I'm not gonna spend too much time on this and add all these other subcategories, but you'll see we now have a new parent category with a new subcategory. So that has been done. So once you have added all the categories and subcategories that you want, and obviously you can always come back and add more later or delete or whatever you need to do. Now we're gonna go to add images to our stock library. So to do that, we're gonna click on stock library over here, and it's gonna take us to this page. And now this page shows us all of our categories and subcategories, but because I just added a new category and subcategory, I'm gonna to need to hit refresh so it appears here. So you can see that it actually took place. So now we have all of our categories and subcategories. But before we can see the images, we've got to add them um, to these categories. And so to do that, we're going to need to go back to the main network. Now, I know this is a little bit of an extra step, but it's because we need to be able to select which ones go into these categories on a global level. So, so now let's go back to our main category, or I'm sorry, our main network site. So what I'll do is click on the network admin. Um, inside here, I'm actually not on network admin. Well, I'm in network admin, but I'm in the wrong spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this. So when you're a network admin, you're gonna go to your stock library and click on stock library. And that's gonna bring you actually to this page. So now we are in network admin, stock library, and we're gonna add pictures to our sections. So we'll click on backgrounds and you'll see all the images show up for 
that I've loaded. So I've already selected some background images, but if I'd like to add more, just click on manage. And we can go in here and just find some more background images that we want to add to this category. This would be a good one. Um, let's see here. Maybe that one, that one. I'm just going to add a few as background images that they may want to use. All right, so now that I've got a few selected, I'll go ahead and hit save. And we would do the same for icons or before and after pictures or whatever we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on icons just to show what I would do, but I'm not gonna save it just because, just for sake of time. So I've already got some icons in here. Again, if I wanna manage and add more icons, I just click on manage. And then we'll see that we have green already. So those are the ones that are selected. If we want to add some more, just do this. So that's it for our icons. And I'll hit save. And that'll be the last one I'll do for this demonstration. So now we have backgrounds and icons added to our repository, our stock library. And the next thing you want to do is go to your restrict category inside of your network admin. And what this allows is, I don't, if you have subcategories within your niche, like I do, which um, ours is auto care industry. And so we have subcategories like auto detail, paintless and repair, as you see here, mechanics, um, car wash, window tenters. We're going to have multiple subcategories. And so not all the images will apply to all our subcategories. And so this allows us to build out templates and select which category of images we want to not show to restrict from our customers being able to see. And so we, I know that this Tweaker Pro Site template is actually for paintless dent repair. So I don't want to show this any images that are going to be in auto detail or backgrounds. And so if I had mechanics on here and car washes or whatnot, I would also select those to be restricted from this one because I only want paintless dent repair images, related images to be shown to the paintless dent repair templates of people that have a paintless dent, ah, I can't even talk, a paintless dent repair template. It's a tongue twister there. And so once you do that, you hit submit. And so now for this particular template, only items from within these categories and subcategories will they see. And so that's how restrict category works. And now I'm inside my template, the Tweaker Pro site. And so if I go to the media folder and I click on the library, I'm going to show you what's currently there and then how we can add some of the stock images that we'd want. So as you'll see, that's the last image that we've added before. So let's go to our stock library. So assuming I'm the customer or even just working within your templates, this is how you would be able to grab your images to add to your templates. And so let's just pretend we wanted to add some background images to this particular media folder. So let's say this is one of them and it loads it. We're actually in version one point whatever to, um, we're gonna include, make it so that you can add multiple images, but currently you can only add one image at a time. So it takes a little bit of time, but in the next version, and which is gonna come out very shortly, you'll see that we made it so that you can add multiple images. So I'll just do two for sake of time uh, to show you that we've added two new images to the library over here. So once this refreshes, I'm gonna go ahead and go to our library and show you that they've been added. Yeah, this is, internet speed sucks. All right, so now let's go to the library. And you'll see that these two new images have been added to my library successfully. So the next step is to show you on the front end how this works. So what I'll do is I'll add an image here because I have not refreshed you know, it will not show those images that I've added to my library. At least I don't think it will. Oh, it does already. I guess it's, it's calling it up um, on the fly. So there's the two new images. As you'll see, they made it into the library. And th so this works for any page builder. Um, we're using Elementor, but we have tested it on others. 
And so it does work. So once you've brought the images over to your library, it can work anywhere you want. And that would that concludes our demonstration. I hope you guys love it as much as I do and are excited about using it as I am because it, it really will make things a lot better for your customers in order to, to bring in stock images for them to use and free up your, your server space. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments and I look forward to helping you out. Thanks. Take care. Have a good one.